So I'm sitting here next to this uh, fermenting bucket thinking about how really the same it is as a meat sack like me. I mean, here I am breathing the oxygen in the air, um, digesting the sugar, and that's my food. And look, I mean, this is breathing out here all over the place. Got some towels down, and it's digesting its food of sugar, which I supplied for it. Of course, it can't get up and walk around and go get its own food, but I could also be an inverter in a wheelchair. And to be quite honest, most of my food, I don't really, <laughs> I don't, I don't really make my own food. <laughs> I go to the store and I buy it and pick it up. I guess there is some preparation involved, but. Uh, this bucket is doing basically the same thing that I'm doing. It has a much shorter lifespan, though. It'll be dead in a matter of days, whereas I think I've got a, a good number of years, perhaps decades, uh, left before I expire. But eventually, just like this bucket of uh, fermenting yeast and malt, I, too, will expire. It's only a matter of time. We are quite similar. Not really that much more advanced than a bucket of uh, sugar and yeast.